I wasn't planning to make a video on Decadence, but after watching those first two episodes, I've had to. For the simple reason that it could be an amazing show, quite possibly the best new show to come out all year. And no, I'm not exaggerating. So let me explain why, at least as best as I can without spoilers. So the show is about this mobile fortress that is the last refuge of humanity after the Gadol wiped out most of them. There are the gears who fight the Gadols and the tankers who don't fight but support the gears by like, getting food, maintaining armor, etc. Now the overall concept isn't anything that new. In fact, it's sort of one of the cliches for action-focused anime like Attack on Titan, Black Bullet, Darling in the Franks, and many others I'm probably forgetting. And the cliché sounding concept is a reason that I did not plan to watch the show. True, some shows with the concept can be amazing, but there is nothing that I saw at first glance that would make the show stand out. But then someone in the Twin Tales Discord mentioned that it was different. Now I like different shows. I'm part of the Twin Tales Discord after all. So I was intrigued, checked it out, and they were right. Very right. The first episode does a lot of things right with the concept. It introduced a very spunky main character named Natsumi, and she wants to be a gear despite her losing part of her arm during a Gadol attack when she was a kid. So because of that, she's regulated to cleaning duty as part of the tankers. Not what she wanted. Well, there she develops a really interesting dynamic with her boss, an older guy by the name of Kaburagi. He's basically given up on doing anything exciting with his life, just going through the motions, and content to just cleaning the decadence for all the time that he's left. The dynamic between the two of them is really great with how opposite they are. Natsumi wants to experience all the world has to offer, even if it's dangerous. And Kaburagi has seen the world and knows how cruel it can be. And while Kaburagi is distant first, he does develop a soft spot for Natsumi, which really is great. So, the show has basically nailed character introductions. But there is more to the show than just that. Much more. The world here is fascinating in the exploration of it. Seeing it through Natsumi's innocent eyes and Kaburagi's more jaded view makes for an incredible experience. There's a general mystery about what's going on. Weird events that don't quite make sense. Like how Kaburaki seems to be keeping a small Gadol as a pet. Though the Gadol is very friendly and doesn't seem dangerous. And then there are a couple interesting twists as well. Though those are best to experience for yourself. So here we see that the show has done a great job of setting up the story. Both with smaller events to drive the story forward. And also a grand narrative that I can't wait to see unfold. Though, to be honest, I don't really know where it's going. And the show is being very ambitious. There is a risk here. Its ambitions could backfire. I've seen that happen before. But one thing is for sure. It is not going to be a cliche. In fact, I can't think of another show that does what it is trying to do. The animation for the series is also great. The fortress moving has a ton of weight to it, and then the gears flying through the air is really cool to see, and the whole environment just adds to the mood. Plus, I like the style they use for some of the scenes in episode 2. It's very different, and again, set the tone well for how weird it was. Plus, the soundtrack is also a lot of fun, and just sets everything up perfectly. In fact, after I finish recording it, I'm going to go listen to it a few more times. So let me know what you thought of the show. I'm really curious, almost as curious as I am about seeing where this will go from here. I might be back to do more videos on it too, so subscribe if you want to see those, like if you like me to talk about it, dislike it if you think I'm wrong, and I will see you all next time.